Hey, I'm Brian Posehn. You may know me from my stand-up comedy or from the TV shows I've been on, like the Sarah Silverman program. I love comic books, metal, and anything nerdy, except furries. They're gross. But that does include Dungeons & Dragons, which I've been playing with the same group of my funny friends for a decade now. So we decided to record us playing the game and turn it into a podcast, and we call it... Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons Brian Posey and Friends Blaine Ken Sarah Sark Don't forget Jerry Now with more Dan and Steve And less Sarah, Jerry, and Sark Hey, it's Brian Posey and you're listening to Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons with Brian Posey and Friends Hey friends Hi Hi, Brian Brian. Hi Steve, Dan, Ken, Blaine um, Don't forget Jerry. Yep. And Sarah. <laughs> and Sark. Um, Sark. No official donor this week. And I didn't do stand up last week, so nobody uh, shoved a 20 in my hand. It's a total no do. Um, but we did get an amazing gift from our friend Brad Manis. <laughs> uh, yeah. He said, uh, yeah, we sure did. Hello, Brian Posehn and friends. I was walking through my local record store and saw the perfect belated Christmas gift for you guys. Chuck Mangione's Children of Sanchez. Music written for the Hall Bartlett film, The Children of Sanchez. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I love that thing. You know that movie, uh, The Hall Bartlett's Children of Sanchez? Play? Children of Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> and it doesn't even have it doesn't even have feel so good on it, but uh, I think uh, Brad wants us to you know broaden our Mangione. <laughs> <laughs> I broadened my Mangione and I had to go to Cedar Sinai. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's still kind of numb good on insurance. one side. So I'm stuck at Kaiser. <laughs> they, I have, they cut my Mangione in half. <laughs> I have brown cross, brown shield. <laughs> Uh, you guys have inspired me to DM my own group. They just happen to be all for killing first and forgetting to ask questions later. Love the podcast and have fun tracing giants. Brad Manis. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Thank Brad. you, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Uh, I'm going to put this in my actual vinyl collection. I wonder what it will be next to me. Yeah, it's vinyl. That's the Mangione. thing. Mangione. It's, it's hard to find the, it on MP3. M's next to Megadeth and <laughs> Magma. Mastodon. It'll go right next to my Mastodons. <laughs> I like the idea that a lot of people are playing D&D listening to Mangione right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I like that idea. Sarah's too. back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then other sad news. When we're going to do the recap, um, Sarah's character is... No longer with us. I am very sorry, Sarah. Uh, and it was Dan's not yet. Character. Not yet. I know we're gonna try, but I am I'm sad. pretty fucked up. Dan's here, so we'll see what happens. And he's probably he's rolled up six other characters, <laughs> just in case. He's yeah. gonna play all of them. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try some uh, try some people out. We're holding some open auditions. We're looking yeah. for a one of them's Kelly Clarkson. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> or a Kelly Clarkson type would be nice. Um. So, other than him dying, what happened last week? <laughs> uh, we killed a cyclops. That's right. Oh, bear. that's right. Yeah, we and killed a shit out of bear. You guys are loud in my ears. I'm oh, sorry. Did I turn you up by accident? We killed a cyclops. All right. Mm. Uh, yeah, we did kill a Cyclops. Yeah, you guys have sort of gotten off the... Uh, traced his single nut. <laughs> <laughs> I forget if you cut his balls off or how no, you we bla- I blasted him in the nuts. Yeah, he with had a, a, oh, yeah. He had a, an open... Uh, he had a dick explosion. Cauliflower dick. Oh, oh, oh. A, sort yeah. of a blue cauliflower dick. Yeah, he had a blooming onion. <laughs> <laughs> and then you blew the bear's head off through his ass, right? Was that, was, that was Lyra's crowning achievement ah, before she go. died. Was she horn a blasting to rectum and the bear's head exploded? It's pretty good. Let it go down in legend. <laughs> let it go down in legend. And let it go down that it, uh, uh, it actually killed him. Wrecked him. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Fucking killed him. Uh, so, uh, uh, you guys uh, were walking up, the, you're walking through a. Uh, the, Is these, my Chipotle eating loud? 
This is like one of those. What's the uh, uh, AD uh, ASMR? Yeah, this is like an ASMR podcast. I don't know what that everybody is. is really turned on by the sound of Brian chewing. What's it's ASMR? for people who uh, the sound of like crinkling paper like raises the hair on the back of their neck. It's like titillating for them. Yeah, sometimes people like uh, like breathing in their ear or the sound of like tapping things or like whispering. that. Whispering. And if you go online, you can look up these uh, these ASMR videos, yeah. and it'll just you'll find whatever weird sonic fetish. Can I get the sound of a right cum blast? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Is that the three D, the three D oral, whatever, God. where it's recorded yeah. with a head, yeah. with microphones in the ears? People yeah. are, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, because then it's three D sound. It really, oh, it's shit. really specific stereo. People so are weird. Be like Oculus yeah. earmuffs. People yeah, exactly. are weird <laughs> exactly. when you're a weirdo. Uh, so you guys had uh, been walking through these uh, the blue lands, I guess, and uh, you were following a path sort of off in the woods a little bit. You found a trail that led down to a cyclops place. You uh, fucked with him and killed him, and uh, he had a fuck yeah. He had a big uh, big friend, and you dispatched his friend and uh, decided to get back on the road. Uh, you've been the road's been sort of winding up the side of a hill, uh, and you got to a crossroads. Uh, and not the Clapton kind, thank fucking God. Uh, then uh, uh, <laughs> you were trying to cross the street. It's pretty big. It, it, it was like a major thoroughfare. It was empty. But uh, uh, while you were uh, going across, these two uh, bikes or something, these two things went by. Uh, one of them struck Lyra, kind of like a uh, dog style, and... Uh, uh, then the giants who uh, had hit you, they came back, and the one whose bike was damaged became furious, grabbed Lyra, squeezed her, and electrocuted her, because that's how it works. Uh, so uh, uh, so Lyra is at uh, negative 10 hit points, which is, I mean, dead even by D&D standards, which is like Marvel death. Uh, so uh, uh, Lyra is uh, sort of dead. Uh, the giant tosses her off to the side to the side of the road uh, uh, and they both the giants look at you he and his buddy so it's two biker giants that are pissed off and uh, just killed your friend and we're rolling yeah we managed to get him down a few hit points too I think they both got hit with magic missiles and I stabbed one in the hand and yeah, yeah, I, think I think we did more damage to one you chop yeah the guy who was holding me I think uh, I think Dag hit him once with the uh, the broadsword, and so I think I shot some missiles. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they both got hit with missiles each. Yeah, I think yeah. one of you took one, one of you took the other, and the other guy right. hopped off his bike. And yeah. okay. Uh, how far away is Lyra from? How far away am I from Lyra? You guys are sort of uh, in the. If it's a. If this is like a four lane highway, you guys are sort of to the uh, in the fast lane of the of the close lane. Does that make sense? So, yeah, the fast <laughs> lane of the close lane. What? If you're, if uh, oh, I know what you say. Yeah, okay. The yeah. Direction of traffic. Sorry, I'm thinking of the one. Life is a highway, right? <laughs> and and Lyra is where? Uh, dead. All night long. Lyra uh, all sort dead. of Lyra sort of rolls off to the next lane, almost off to the to the curbside. Okay. So, uh, and she's sort of she's not looking very good. She was hit by a motorcycle and then squeak crushed and electrocuted. It's hard out here on the blue streets. Well, I know it's probably a, a waste, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna. T I have this potion that I that I've been carrying. I'm gonna just try and pour it down her gullet if it works. It's the red one, right? It's mauve. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, can't wait for my corpse to just float away like a balloon at a birthday party. <laughs> she becomes 200 feet tall and still dead. <laughs> So uh, That'd be crazy. Uh, so, so these giants. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, let's roll for initiative just to kind of make it fair because you're all sort of you're all brace. So we'll see. Flip a coin, see who goes first. Six, six to a one. So you guys, uh, you will kick off. Oh yeah. Okay. Five. <clears throat> oh, so what are you what are you doing? Oh no no Four. you're you're all good you're all good. Oh, no, we're all good. Okay. Ken rolled for the group. Well, that was. Thanks. I'm glad you got a six. I took Thanks. initiative. It's Thanks, dude. Really for initiative. Uh, so uh, uh, these giants, uh, the one who just threw the uh, Lyra down, starts uh, looking at you guys, and he's just pissed off. And his uh, uh, his friend is just kind of smiling because he knows he's going to get get in on some action. So they sort of move in. 
Uh, not in a hurry. And if they did, you'd be in trouble because they're giants. Right. So, uh, uh, who's going first? Who's doing what? Let's just start with winter. We'll go clockwise here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spider climb the one that's uh, most injured and jab my quarter staff in his ear. Okay. Oh, by the way, I, I was going on the fact that Ken said he was going to do something with the potion. Oh. So this round, I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that you are getting the potion out and moving over to Lyra. Okay. Is that? I mean, is that fair yeah, enough? I didn't, didn't that's mean to fine. assume. Because when you when you assume something, you make a you make me look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> um, I uh, pray to uh, didn't I say it last week to, uh, that I uh, pray to Judas to help me uh, avenge my friend? Yes. Okay. My friend's death. Okay. I'm still doing that, but. Uh, I'm fucking fired up. I'm gonna kill both these fuckers. Okay, or hey, do can what I can. Roll a roll a uh, two ten two percentiles. That would be a two ten sided dice. Mm, uh, this one then. Yeah, those guys. This one, right? Yep. yep. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to fart and he shit himself. <laughs> Trying to burp your <laughs> mouth, <laughs> mouth shart. Don't barf on the mic, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was just going to see if something happened. But uh, so you, uh, you're you moving into attack, and you've got your uh, your frost brand out? Yeah. Uh, okay. So you uh, uh, why don't you uh, attack this first guy? And you're, it's the guy that just killed Lyra, right? Mm-hmm. He's Yeah, okay. He's a little more beat up. Finish him. Eleven then plus whatever. Yeah, don't have them. Uh, let me see a quick thing here. It's like a plus three or, or no? It got upped. It's like a plus four now. You're good. Do, 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 do. Fifteen. <coughs> okay, that's uh, uh, that's kind of barely uh, that's barely a hit because this guy is uh, uh, he's all tensed he's a up, fucking dick. But you still uh, you still get some damage. Okay. So roll for damage. Mm. That is a uh, that's a six sided with your and then your bonuses plus one. Sorry, six plus one. Doe. Uh, so that's two plus, and what are your bonuses? Five? Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Seven points. Fuck. Yeah, right. I'm going to so, kick the shit out seven of you. Points. So, <laughs> so Dag kind of, uh, Dag sort of takes a, uh, he gets done praying and opens his eyes, and uh, the leg has moved, and he manages to just sort of uh, slice a sword across this guy's thigh, uh, but still hurts him pretty bad. Uh, ah, he roars very giant style. Ah, I haven't figured out a voice for this guy yet. Uh, his friend, his friend, we've all kind of stupid. How many? Uh, can we, how many hits do we have uh, total on him so far? Uh, I think you guys, uh, you guys, it was a magic missile hit. So this is like the second time that he's been hit. This is the first time with a like an edge weapon. So, uh, and then we go back to. Oh, sorry, winter spider climbing to. Jab my quarter staff in his ear. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, why don't you roll roll to attack a twenty sided? Scrambling. Ugh. <laughs> what was that? A five. Okay. So, uh, I'm just gonna say that you spider climb up the side of this guy, and it's taken longer than you assume. Okay. So you can't really. You, you tried to take a. You tried to take a, uh, a swing at the guy's ear, and he ended up sticking in his armpit, and he goes. <laughs> Are you crawling up the guy that the 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 guy that hit Lyra or yep. the other guy? Yep, the All guy right. that killed Lyra. Okay, he doesn't go like that. I thought it was the other guy. <laughs> the guy's like, ah, <laughs> get away, armpit. Did you go over to um, yeah, Lyra's that should be body? Right now. All right. Okay, so uh, uh, let's it? see what happens. She's pretty fucked up. Uh, kind of charred, kind of crushed. Obviously, bones broken and stuff. I have hope that this potion does something good. Uh, okay. So, uh, tell me what you do. Open her mouth and pour it down her throat. Okay. So, uh, you sort of get her head back. There's weird crackles. <laughs> you open her jaw. It's very easy. I apologize. Uh, and you, uh, uh, you pour this potion in. Yeah, that, yeah it kind of sounds, sounds a little uh, bit like nice. that. Okay. Yeah, sort of vertebrae moving around. And uh, uh, you sort of... Uh, uh, 
kind of do the thing where you rubber throw it a little bit, and uh, uh, so it kind of goes down. And it's sort of the way, uh, you know, like when a sink gets too much hair in it, it takes a while for the for no. the tooth the layer of toothpaste to go down, and then you have to rinse the sink out after the you know no. how it works. So, <laughs> so uh, it's like that, but you see the potion go down her throat. All right. So uh, so there you go. Nothing's happening. Not th- not that you can see. All right. I'm also gonna. Do you have to do another? I have to wait to the next round for another action. Or? Uh, yeah, because this was okay. this was a full time. Grab her horn of blasting. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. One ring. All right. Uh, so these guys, uh, this big blue guy moves in here. The guy that uh, uh, he is going to let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he uh, uh, is ignoring you guys. He's ignoring you. Maybe he doesn't even feel you. Blaine pointed at Winter. Uh, yeah, he pointed over it at Steve. <laughs> Looks at you and starts walking over. Uh, and uh, he doesn't really have a. Uh, he doesn't have a weapon. Uh, he just kind of reaches over and tries to grab you and clips your arm. Okay. Uh, you sort of get out of the way. It was. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. You're on him. I'm on it. Mm-hmm. On him. Uh, uh, I meant to say Ken, because you were not on him. Okay. Sorry, I was. I was uh, sorry. I was completely. It's all right. Uh, he walks over to uh, uh, to hug. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, to hug, and he tries. He takes a swing at you. Tries to grab you. You get out of the way. You're okay. you barely do it because he's uh, uh, you're sort of taken aback and you were very busy. Okay. So, uh, so, and you take uh, you take two points of damage, right. and the other guy, his friend, oh, uh, well, do so an Arcani kind of a thing. <laughs> uh, he uh, he comes over and uh, he's laughing because you're crawling up his back, and he's uh, he tries to grab you, but he uh, uh, he misses, and uh, uh, and that's about it. But this other giant is really he's right there, right. Uh, he doesn't. The second guy doesn't even really seem to notice Dag because uh, uh, because his friend has moved over to Lyra. He thinks that that's where the action is. Right. So he's taking the eye off the ball a little bit. So uh, Dag, it's your. Uh, sorry, now we're going counterclockwise, but that's okay. Okay, Dag, what do you want to do? Um, the guy that you just attacked has walked away from you. Okay. Uh, but the other guy is. I'm going to do what range. I did to the Cyclops. I'm going to go Achilles tendon on this uh, dude, the guy that's uh, just turned his back on me. Okay. I'm going to creep up him behind him and uh, okay. <coughs> fucking slice the back of his feet. All right, do it. No uh, fair. <laughs> so uh, roll roll a twenty uh, sided. Mm-hmm. Sorry, his uh, Brian's enjoying some a fine spread from. Chipotle, a new restaurant here in Los Angeles that no one's ever heard of. God damn it. <laughs> What'd you roll? Fucking five. These dice a five. Are uh, everybody's yeah. rolling fives tonight. Uh, that is. Uh, what would uh, my satanic dice say? What's the satanic dice say? Oh. 19. Oh. Should have gone with Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Always go with Satan, listeners. When in doubt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, do, what the, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Uh, so uh, uh, Dag comes up but the guy is moving faster than he thought he takes a swing and it's just a whiff Fuck! you would have totally snapped both of them too bro if you would have connected that would have been fucking out of here and you would have gotten so much fucking but pussy he, in your El Camino he didn't see me though yet right he hasn't seen you no okay. so you're in, you're in good shape Winter you're uh, scurrying up this dude's back He, uh, you're kind of holding on you, but it's easy because you got spider climb uh, so uh he uh, has taken a weird swing at, li- uh, at hug and missed. So he's standing back up. What do you, what do you want to do? Jabbing my f- fucking quarter stuff in his ear. All right. Roll a 20-sided and get a five. Nice. 12. 12. Okay. That's, uh, that's going to be a hit because uh, you're right on the side of this guy's neck. Uh, so you're going to do a little Iwo Jima Q-tip style. And uh, uh, what's your quarter staff do? Quarter staff, staff, quarter. 
Uh, against Giant is one to six, so one d six. Is it? Is it magic at all? Oh, it's it's got the sticking out thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Good. Stins. Okay, good. Six. Yeah, roll six. Three. Uh, okay. So uh, you stick your Q-tip in this giant's ear, and uh, uh, you press the little kink, and uh, uh, his head twists away from you. Uh, uh, ah, it's really, really painful. He just got jabbed in the ear with a giant stick, so uh, and did some damage. So he, uh, I want you to roll a roll a strength check, even though you have spider climb going. Which, uh, which one's that? That's a uh, just just roll your uh, your strength or under on a twenty sided. Eight. Okay, cool. Uh, you managed to hang on because it got rodeo bull style there for a second. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, and uh, hug. I'm gonna grab the horn of blasting. Grabbing the horn of blasting. And Manjoni him in the face. The one that's <laughs> just swiped at me. Okay. So uh, I want you to uh, uh, I want you to roll a dexterity check because you're gonna you just got knocked off balance by this guy. Good. All right, dexterity passed. Two. Uh, Oh, and did, sorry? Two. Okay, yeah. That was, okay, good. Uh, so you grab the horn, and uh, I want you to roll another dexterity check to right. see if you can get this thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, he uh, kind of changes the read a little bit, licks his lips a little <laughs> bit, kind of does the peep our beauty finger warm-up thing a little bit. <laughs> and uh, and kind of kicks back and assumes a position and uh, just roll a 20-sided to make sure that you don't do anything stupid. Seven. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to roll this. How's that Chipotle, Brian? Is it that loud? I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm just, I was just trying to kill time while I was... I'm four feet away from the mic. No, but there's a food right there. I was looking at it. Yeah. What'd you get? Bowl. Read a bowl. Ah. You know what's really good there? The Chipotle. <laughs> it's all delicious, right? The chicken is really so good. fucking good. I like the barbacoa. And the vegetables. Uh, so, um, uh, what's the horn of blasting do? I'm sorry, do you have a... Do you have stats on that, Lyra? Or... We don't know. Hey, Dan? Yes! Uh, do, you have the horn of bla- <laughs> do you have the horn of blasting stats? I don't, Dan- no. Dan's in full D&D uh, going over his stats mode. I mean, yeah, I'm in full uh, looking at another character sheet mode. Um, I don't know. I, I had uh, just the... the exactly. Okay, it usually just does a shitload of damage. I, I know we've heard this before. Right. Uh, uh, a cone of sound 120 feet long, 30 feet wide. All in the area must save a uh, throw versus spell. Uh, those saving are stunned and deafened. Uh, those failing get damage. The uh, wave of ultrasonic sound one foot wide and 100 feet long. Weakening of metals is uh, uh, metal, stone, and wood. So, okay, cool. There you go. So, uh, why don't you roll for... Uh, uh, one? Roll damage. I, I got to roll a saving sorry. thing, sorry. Do, 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 do. Okay, he made a save. So roll for damage. That's 1d10. Ten. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, so he takes ten points. He is going to be stunned for two rounds, and he's going to be deaf for four. And he's also got a fucking giant Q-tip in his ear, so... Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, I need Is this the same one, though? I thought there was one... He, he ran up one, and the other one came at me and swiped at me. I thought. He's on the one, he's on the one that came up and swiped you. Yeah, okay. So you're behind him. I want you to roll... Make a... Uh, uh, I want you to make a saving roll versus spells. Okay. Uh, roll a... Roll a, uh, a 20-sided. 14. That's, that's under. He, yeah, he made that okay, one. Good. So which guy's stunned? The guy that fucked me up or the, or, uh, or that fucked up Lyra or, um... Uh, the guy, yeah. the guy that fucked up Lyra 
just got hit with a horn of blasting. Right. Uh, you, by the way, your ears are ringing so bad. It's like you just came from a, a goddamn blue cheer show. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one of the historically loudest. I could have gone with Motorhead, but why go with Motorhead when you can the see? The ghastly it? ones. The ghastly ones. Very loud show is what I'm saying. Uh, your ears are ringing pretty bad. So, uh, 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 And you were kind of out of it. Okay. So you're going to be operating at a little bit of a disadvantage. But this guy sort of eclipsed uh, the, the horn of blasting, which would have fucked you up pretty hard. Ministry was the loudest concert I've ever been to. And who's the... Uh, does the other guy have any hit points on The other him? guy is coming up. Uh, uh, you're chasing him. He hasn't taken any damage yet. And he's bigger uh, than Oh, him. no. I thought I was I was going after the, the guy that just fucked up Lyra. That's Same the one. guy. That's the guy over by. That's what I thought I was yeah. doing. Yeah, his uh, his. He the turned, other he left to uh, attack Ken. Yeah, it seemed like they okay. split. Yeah. Okay, they split up. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're chasing him. The other guy is going over to help his friend. Okay. So, uh, you're all sort of in the same general area. All right. Well, I'm gonna hack at the stun guy's uh, feet again. Uh, okay. So you go up to uh, you go up behind the dude that just got sort that just took ten points of damage. Uh, and he's stunned, right? Yeah, he yes. is. He is and stunned. Deaf. Yeah. And so fresh. So he's sort of wobbling, he's sort of weird on his feet. So. Cool. Well, I'm gonna stab at his uh, the back of his legs or the back of his uh, feet. His Achilles tendon. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, well, have you seen what they... Yeah, they're, like, they're, they're very anyway. hard to read. A seven. A seven? Plus four, or a five, I mean, so... Uh, and he's stunned. You know what? I'm going to say that... Uh, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say that that's a hit. So right. why don't you roll for damage on that? And I'm going to give you a couple of minuses just to be realistic. Uh, fucking two. Two? All right. Uh, Plus, you know, five. All right, so you go up and uh, you just sort of, you do like a weird kind of, uh, it does a weird arc uh, kind of up through the back of his calves. Ooh. And they, yeah, it's like not really Achilles tendon, but like the back of them are both sort of opened up. Ugh. Gross. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Blue blood comes down all over the place. Cool. It's and, so uh, gross. Blue blood. It's, it's, I'm trying to. Are we gonna have to pay Peter Gabriel if, uh, if I do a red rain? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Then I won't. Um, that was the last show I ever saw Peter Gabriel. No acoustic at McCabe's. Yeah, it was fucking deaf for a week. No, I'm kidding. McCabe's. <laughs> deaf for a week. <laughs> That's a place to see a loud show. Is McCabe's. Nice and compact. <laughs> yeah, that's where I saw Guar. That's where I was like, <laughs> <No. it> was. <laughs> that would be oh amazing. It's a Guar at McCabe's. Jesus, it would be like seeing a fucking show at the Keebler Elves Tree. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so this guy takes some bad damage. Uh, you guys have all done stuff. His friend comes over, and uh, he's kind of looking at all you guys. He uh, he finally looks down and he sees Dag. So uh, he kind of turns around and. Uh, makes a little reach down for you and uh not too good doesn't doesn't really grab you you sort of jump out of the way um but that happens uh the other guy can't really do anything the guy who's all stunned so what do you want to do this is the beginning of a new round what is that is it me oh it is me um um oh yeah Who's first? I want to use my, uh, I can make a monster. I, I don't have my sheet. I forgot it because I rushed out the door, but I I have a create, you create a monster spell. <laughs> no, you know what? That's not yeah, you have a Yeah, you have a, a gift card for the Build-A-Bear workshop. That's, <laughs> that's what you meant. And a free, a free massage. Is it, is it a summon something? Or make it a biker summon. bear. Get the, get the leather jacket. Yeah, was it a oh, summon or an illusion know. thing? They have summon. bear ones, too, you can do now. It's a summon. Uh, or should I just keep stabbing him in the air? It's gonna. If you're gonna throw a spell, you're gonna have to start. Oh, calling fuck up that spell. then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab him again. 
I'm already okay. in his ear. I'm inside his ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Start kicking his ear. All right. Bro. So, uh, so Trace roll another, uh, roll another attack just to make sure that your stick is in there good. At twenty. Four. Uh, okay, your stick kind of retracts and comes out because uh, you're still a little fucked up. Yeah, you're not really I'm doing that. Fuck. So, uh, so, but you're still spider climb to the side of this uh, of this stunned gi- deaf giant's back with the big bleeding calves. Uh, hug. Uh, you have just blown the horn of blasting mm. at these guys. Uh, you're down by Lyra's body, and the other giant, you see the other giant, he's seen you. He's coming over to fuck with you. But you see him kind of look over and try to grab Brian and, and fail. But when that happens, he just kind of looks up and goes back to seeing his friend. He doesn't know how fucked up his friend is right now. Or does he? I don't know. <laughs> um, is anything happening with the potion or anything with Lyra? Uh you kind of you haven't really been paying attention to Lyra because you've been right. very busy trying to uh, with the horn, but when you uh, when you turn around again, uh, Lyra is kind of standing there, and uh, uh, she's getting she's getting bigger. She's getting <laughs> but standing or just, <laughs> she's just well like a zombie would stand. Okay, fantastic. And uh, uh, she looks like she's just getting a little <laughs> getting a little bigger. Lyra now. It's getting a little bigger. At, uh, Isn't that what I guessed? <laughs> that should be 200 feet yeah. tall and dead. Uh, but the, uh, uh, she's, you just notice she's getting bigger. <laughs> and she's also standing up. Okay. At least but, I'm useful as a corpse. But she's, she is dead. Yeah, okay. No life. Right. Crushed, the head kind of off to the side. There's crackling uh, weird sounds uh, and stuff. But I'm uh, intimidating, sort of. Yeah, uh, and you also see that uh, that Lyra is sort of looking at the giants. Okay. So, what are you gonna do? Now, what happened with? She had a ring on her finger. Can I grab that off? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, okay. I'll say that you managed yeah. to get right. the obvious. Stuff I heard off you first. say it when you were going yes, to the horn of blasting. Exactly. So I'm gonna slip that on and uh, try and. Concentrate on some like some rocks on the ground to throw at the giant. Because uh, I've seen her do similar things. Okay, this like using using it as a sling. Okay, no, the telekinesis. It's a, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But just using it as a rock. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, you get the. Uh, I'm going to say that getting the ring on and sort of figuring out how to do it is going to be a round. Great. So there's not going to be any rocks flying right. <laughs> or thing. But. Uh, but you see that Lyra is maybe, I don't know, 12 feet, 15 feet tall. Okay. And, uh, and now uh, she's sort of shambling. Still dead. Still dead. Sort of shambling towards the, towards the giant. Gary shambling? I, I am gonna, and I'm going to act as if I'm controlling her. I'm going to try to convince. Hashtag comedy zombies. I'm going to try to convince the giant the that I'm controlling show. her somehow. <laughs> okay. So maybe they'll, right? Hmm? I'm, I'm trying to convince the giant. I'm going to act like I'm controlling her, like I'm waving her towards them. Well, that's cool to spook them. Yeah. So, uh, go, 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 go. So, uh, it's my turn, right? Sure. Um. All right. I uh, let's take a quick break. And we're back. That was great. We all went to Chipotle. Yep. <laughs> just looks so and good uh, the guy that just yeah. reached at me, oh. I'm no longer uh, focusing on the the guy who was cutting his uh, his thighs or whatever. I'm now I'm gonna wing a grenade at this dude. Are we still talking face. about Chipotle? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dude that's uh, trying to grab at me. I'm You're gonna turn around, and throw a grenade, grenade at him at his face. Yes. All right. Cool. So uh, why don't you roll to and listener? I just did a really cool hucking motion. <laughs> it was super cool. And I think I threw out my back. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I have a sprained back right now. Oh, they're bad. I went in high school. It was fucked up. Ugh. It just doesn't end. Uh, please, please don't fucking be stupid. Ooh. Oh, 19. Nice. Uh, fucking no, 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 nice chuck, dude. No, 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 All right, cool. 19, 19. Nice so uh, you turn around, you chuck this thing right at this guy. I want you to roll for... Let me, let me see if... Uh, roll for some damage. 
What do what, I roll for the grenades? Roll? I'm forgetting. Uh, Gary? <laughs> Gary! <laughs> to Gary! Sh- <laughs> Gary! Gary! We need him. Oh, uh, Gary! I never toss <laughs> off. <laughs> what was Gary's last name? Uh, uh, Sarley. Sarley. Yeah, Gary Sarley. Nice. We need him on Skype or something. No. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> at GM Gim. Sarley. I thought you meant Gary in uh, no, Weird Science. No, the guy that helped us last week. <laughs> this is the theme or to Gary show. show. The, oh, the Gary the Shambling Gary show. show. <laughs> this is the music that you hear as you watch the credits. <laughs> Keep singing while That's playing. Creepy right, as so. I'm that almost theory. to the part where I start to whistle. Uh, <laughs> sing Stairway to Heaven in that creepy voice. This is the theme to Stairway, <laughs> the Stairway to Heaven song. That's not how. That's not what I meant. There's Pretty sure that's how it goes, Brian. who's sure all that glitters <laughs> Yeah, that's what I meant. Gold. And she's buying the shamblings to heaven. <laughs> when she gets <laughs> there, she knows. How do you like it so far? <laughs> How do you like the theme of Gary show? Uh, so uh, you throw this grenade at this thing. Uh, Fuck yeah, I do. You roll a uh, 5d4. Yay. Uh, oh, yeah. It was... Uh, I'm just writing down how many I have now. There you go. Getting five... God damn it. Five four sided dice. That adds up to 20 I sides, kids. Three. If you're doing math at home, five times four is 20. Uh, six, seven, and then 11, 14. Nice. Six, seven, 11, 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, this grenade hits this dude right square in the chest. Uh-huh. And goes off and sort of blows him back, like uh, like he was on one of those wires that they have cowboys on with horses, where the horse rides away and then it looks like the cowboy f- gets shot off the back. Good, yeah. Uh, and he's uh, he's on his back and sort of stunned, but uh, yeah, that happened. And uh, uh, the other guy is still stunned. And uh, uh, not doing too well because of blood pouring down the back of his legs. Winter, you're still on his back. Motherfuckers. I agree. Um, can I use my magic missile yet? Or is it still a? You would have to relearn it. Stab him in the fucking ear again. (laughs) One of these rolls is going to be good, and it's going to go right out the other side. All right, do it. This is the one. In his ear, out his eye. Fucking, <laughs> fucking cum stains. Four. <laughs> Four. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking nice. Sorry, four was really funny for a second. <laughs> Four. 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 Oh, four! <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Who the hell is this Gary character? Uh, so, uh, this thing... Uh, uh, Weird! <laughs> uh, you, see, uh, you see Winter up there kind of stuck on this thing. You're both stunned. That's what's going on right now. You've both been stunned by the horn of blasting that went off in your face. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and Not all over your tits. first time. So, uh, uh, <laughs> hug. Uh, back to the, back to the <laughs> rock plan. Gonna, gonna try to huck some telekinet, kinetically huck some rocks at this guy. Okay. Uh, you're looking over and, uh, uh, at the side of the road and you're looking for some rocks. You see a couple of rocks that look pretty nice. Oh. They don't look like, they don't look too big. Okay. They don't look too small. They don't look jagged. They look almost like perfect, like movie rocks. <laughs> Like, almost like if you would pick it up, they would feel like they were made out of foam. They just looked fake. They were so perfect. And uh, when you turn around, Lyra is just on the front of this guy. Uh, uh, And uh, uh, Winter, you see Lyra's arm just come around as she starts to try to bear hug this guy. 
Uh, and uh, you might want to have to get out of the way. So why don't you roll a dexterity check? I, I, I love this. Is that this. 20? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two. Okay, that's good. That's that is yeah. good. Two's yeah. good. Yeah. So uh, uh, you kind of duck out of the way, uh, and Lyra comes up and just sort of... Hello, uh, blue man. <laughs> Be my cloud husband. <laughs> cloud husband? <laughs> uh uh, Lyra just kind of gets her head around this stunned giant, uh, and Lyra at this point is uh, is now larger than the giant. Sure. And uh, uh, the arms come around this giant, and uh, I'm gonna put you in my tummy. <laughs> it's weird, but she just sort of absorbs him. <laughs> just absorbs this ah, giant. What the fuck wow. potion is uh, this? Uh, potion. <laughs> I'm going to uh, turn uh, into a fucking pudding. Oh, it's Maud Potion. He's turning into B. Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> but this is exactly what B. Arthur does. Yeah. And then there's Maud. God, uh, you gotta get such you a that, narcissist, Kendale. that Maud. <laughs> making everything about her and absorbing the people around her. Uh, uh, that's kind of what you see. Jesus. Wow. It's great. I like that. Yeah, and the Lyra thing <laughs> is sort of stopping. It's not... Really, a Lyra anymore? It's, it's just kind not of a really kind of a Lyra. It's sort of a big mauve thing, okay. and uh, uh, and it's now it's sort of a purple thing because it just digested this in, absorbed this blue thing into it. I uh, I'm actually a pudding. <laughs> <laughs> so the stun guy's gone. Uh, I was joking. Well, you I, get out of the way, yeah. but yeah, it's like it's like it's like this giant sort of a. a it's like the suit sort of went around him, and now the suit is just sort of a big giant shape. Because that's just the shape it. that the giant was. Uh, you guys kind of want to get away from it, maybe? Yeah, I kind of do. I'll jump mm-hmm. off. Um, okay, I'm the one that I knocked on his back. Uh huh. I'm just running across him, stabbing him. Uh, okay, wanna, I'm going to. I'm going to climb on him and. Okay, so uh, I want to give him um, a Colombian necktie. Yeah. Was it Father's Day? Mm-hmm. Mauve, <laughs> Colombian by the way. Father's Day must be the worst. They would wonder what color. <laughs> this is mauve, everybody. Mm-hmm. And then there's mauve. Highs and compromising, absorbing eyes, guys, and then there's mauve. <laughs> oh yeah. What's that? Twelve. All right, so uh, nice. uh, so Brian kind of uh, mm-hmm. runs up Plus onto this four, stun six, guy, two. and he's not. Uh, uh, he took a pretty, pretty hard hit. So uh, you kind of run up onto his chest, his torso. Yes. He's starting to sit up a little bit. What are you going to do? Uh, fucking stab at his um, at his neck. Okay. Uh, uh, roll for damage. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah. One d six plus one plus. Question mark. Come on. Yeah, fuck yeah, six. I'll take it. Uh, six plus one. All right, cool. Uh, plus five. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, you uh, you get this guy kind of uh, across the uh, the chest and the bottom of the throat, kind of like up a down across like this maybe mm-hmm. uh, down across the clavicle down in his chest like a bandolier cut yeah and when you do this uh, you get shocked okay I don't care uh, you take two points you take two points yeah, yeah. Uh, for two points of damage okay fuck him it's worth it uh, anything else what's going on can I didn't Lyra have a dagger? I did, yeah. I did a couple of pointy things. Can I fucking pick it up and throw it like fucking knife thrower style at this dude's fucking neck? The one that Brian's fucking attacking? Hmm? Uh, Can I do that? Is that a thing? <laughs> did anybody get her, all of her stuff? I know you got... Oh. Yeah, I'm probably just still a pile of e- equipment and and stuff over where uh, where uh, so would that stuff have fallen anywhere? Or yeah, it can take off. I mean, 
I I grabbed some stuff, but I imagine the rest of it like popped off or once you got big. I don't know. Yep. Go look over there. <laughs> See what's over there. Yeah, you, you, you got to walk over to my uh, my spot of explosion. I'm going to see if there's a chance. An off, an off chance that instead of absorbing her stuff, that it would have, she still oh, would have yeah. been solid, solid enough for it to fall off. Uh, what no. Oh. Right. Well, I got the ring and the horn at least. Got the ring, the horn. Uh, there's the tiara, I guess. You know what? I'm. I'll give you the tiara. All right. I'll say that was an easy one to grab. You would have thought to get the three magical things I had. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, so that happens. So where Anybody am I? Want to help me finish this guy? Yeah, was, yeah I guess. What do you? I gonna, jumped off the guy that got covered in, <laughs> in yeah, Lyra. The, <laughs> yeah. So now there's only the guy. You're kind of a little weirded out at what's going on. You can't quite. You don't even really know it's Lyra because you didn't see that right, stuff happening. Right. You were busy. Right. All you know is this giant is now sort of this weird thing, and uh, and the weird thing now is just going over uh, towards the other prone giant. Oh shit! I'm gonna get away from him. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, yeah. That mob handle over there. Nature taking scores. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, so you jump out of the way. Yeah, yeah. More uh, husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you jump out of the way, and uh, uh, you see this uh, this thing that was Lyra that absorbed the giant sort of kind of take a couple of weird Gumby claymation steps towards the giant behind it, and it just sort of collapses almost like a like a slug would collapse and uh and the where the head and shoulders were land over this giant's legs he was just still lying on the ground trying to get up and uh, uh just immediately start to kind of slide up the guy's this giant's legs and he starts <laughs> screaming it's very very cinematic i'm sure sark would do a great job with it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, but anyway, this, uh, uh, this thing that was Lyra that you put this potion into, I'm glad you guys didn't drink it, by the way. Yeah, me too. No shit. Uh, I thought about it. Yeah, so it just starts, uh, uh, what are you going to do? Jerry would have. Hey, run the fuck away from this shit. All right. Yeah, run. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume you guys are going to- Continue on the trail. Continue Find a map to Friendly way. Town. Look for a cave. Uh, so you- I took some points, so- there's a yeah. there's a weird uh, uh, there's a weird sound and scream happening behind you. You run across the rest of the freeway uh, or this road, whatever it is. You go back onto the path that is heading up this hill, and uh, uh, you can probably go I don't know a few hundred yards, half a mile or something, uh, and find a place off to the side of the road where you might want to stop and yeah, regroup. Getting, all right, try and get better. Bye, Lyra. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for becoming a horrible mob blob. <laughs> mob blob. Oh, mob blob. It was kind of awesome, though, right? It was fantastic. <laughs> no. uh, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, you guys kind of stop, and uh, uh, you sit up in the woods. You refuel a little bit. How many points were you down, Brian? Only took a, took a couple, right? I know Winter got hit. He took two. Yeah, I'm down seven. You're down seven, which is which I'm down is eleven actually. Pretty nasty. Okay, so uh, seven eleven. Get a slurpee. <laughs> With healing. Sorry, I thought you said four. Uh, uh, so uh, what do you want to do? Head back out onto the the trail? Do you want to try to figure out what's going on? I just want to try to get out of danger right now, and hopefully yeah, try to mend. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ditto. Um, so here's here's what I'll do to just make it simpler so you guys can, and, and then I'll give you guys some time to maybe sort of lay out a game plan. Uh, uh, hug throws up an illusion. Uh, you guys go deep in, deeper into the, into the hills. Uh, if you look back where you came from, it's like you're looking down over a valley, almost like you're, like you've been walking up this hill. 
Mm-hmm. So you can go, you can see a lot of land down there. It's all sort of blue. You can see the sea off in the distance. Uh, and uh, behind you is over the top of the hill is where you saw some spires and things like that. So um, uh, when you look back, it sort of looks like that highway is sort of uh, – Bise- it bisected this path, but this is like a mountain path, like almost a Mulholland kind of trail that you're on. And that looked like more of a major thoroughfare. So it looks like you're sort of, you know, not in a back. You're more side streety, more of a scenic route. Okay. Uh, so you're back in the woods. Uh, over the top of the hill is you don't know. Uh, at the bottom of the hill is this thing that might even come looking for you guys. Right. Uh, so who knows? So there's a giant mauve blob down there. Uh, you haven't seen any other giants, but that's just been because you're very, very lucky. Uh, you don't see anything in the sky, occasional bluebirds and stuff, but they're pterodactyl size, even the sparrows. Um, and, uh, uh, you guys rest up, you get all your spells back, uh, and you're gonna, you both, uh, you all heal up for two points. So if you're down, you're up two. Um, you eat eat uh, eat some rations. You're all pretty bummed out because of Lyra. Pour one on the ground for light her body on fire like Richard Mulligan and Sob. <laughs> wow. Send her out in the lake. Wow. <laughs> the Viking funeral for Richard Mulligan and Blake I Edwards. Really, Sob. Really miss Richard Mulligan. He was fun to watch. He's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm surprised. First guy I worked with. Really. Really. Um, right, what? Not, Temperatures rising? No, empty nest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow you did empty that. nest. That was the first thing I ever did in Holy L.A. Shit. First acting job. Fuck, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had scenes and with it, him? Yeah, and he was super funny and cool. Wow, Jesus Christ. Him and David Leisure. <laughs> yes, oh, my two. Joey Zuzu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were oh, those the first Zuzu. guys I met. Was Chris McDickle on that? Or? Yeah, she was. I. I believe she, by that time she was gone. Was mm. she not? Yeah, I think <coughs> when I came on, she was already gone. Um, I was on like the last season of it, and David mm. Leisure was like the the neighbor or whatever. Yeah. So, but they were giving him a ton of stuff because he killed every time he come, came in and did that. He was Joe fucking he Susan. Yeah, but he did that voice or that yeah. character, and it would crush. Yeah. And then it would also annoy, you know, his character. He was the foil. He always annoyed Mulligan's yeah. character. Mulligan would be, ah, you know, <laughs> meltdown kind of thing. But yeah. Oh, and I uh, was shirtless and uh, painted uh, painted orange. I-, I think it was the the Miami colors. It was uh, yeah, because they were supposed to be in Florida, so it was Sexy. orange in that uh, that light blue, whatever it is. Uh-huh. Dolphins. Yep. I don't know why I know that. I but uh, first job, man. It's <laughs> pretty big. That was a pretty popular show. Yeah, and I got it right away. Like I. I did a set at the improv casting director came wow uh, cool and uh, the next day brought me in and I booked it like, the which couch. never fucking happened no did you even have an agent at that time uh, no fuck it was just Dave Rath uh, you know yeah. managing me at the fuck time fuck yeah there goes Rath <coughs> and he got Power uh, this woman Dave to come uh, Julie uh, Pernworth who's still like a network per- she's like network casting now yeah. but she's the first person to give me a job Crazy, and you haven't worked since. It's weird. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whenever I tell people that like struggle, like that that my first job was just like that easy. Yeah, yeah. But when you look like Big Bird and you got a crazy voice, you're a little easier, <laughs> little easier to cast. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking for a crazy Big Bird type. Em- empty yeah, nest. Yeah. Wow. Park overall. Uh, she was on that show, yeah, yeah, but not not in my scene. But uh, David Leisure was on everything back then. Mm-hmm. He was. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing him on a on a kids like game show on Saturday morning called Animal Crack Ups. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 fucking <laughs> hedgehog puppet. Yeah. Never work with puppets or David Leisure. They're both nice though. They're both nice guys. That's good. Uh, what, what were we doing? Oh, uh, so we uh, kill those fuckers. We're resting. We've got two points back. So, uh, and I'll say that it's, uh, that you've managed to stay here for an hour. So it's, uh, or, or an hour, uh, for, for a, a day, a day-ish. So it's, uh, we'll, we'll start the clock at 9 a.m. We'll assume that you guys slept late. You're fucked up. You're sad. You were up, uh, freaked out. 
don't know what's going on, listening for weird gelatins in the woods. <laughs> so, uh, Gelical cats. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing. So what do you want to do? Uh, do we want to still go to the city? I don't know where else to go, really. We should fucking burn the city what would down. Yeah, do? yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Burn the city down. WWLD. Um, Let's try to find a new friend. Find a fucking <laughs> map. <laughs> I wonder where our new friend is. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm finding a map. Oh, well, unfortunately, I had a crude map on my body, but I believe it was absorbed into a uh, queen pudding. <laughs> Mauve sauce. Uh, <laughs> what should we do, fellas? I think we can. Let's head towards the city. Stay off of. Stay out of sight. Yeah, that's good. And not walk on bike trails where fucking assholes are. Well, we thought we'd make friends with <coughs> one breed of. Giant. Yeah, let's not try that again. Apparently, it's not possible. Giants are dicks. Who needs friends? Yeah. Right, Steve. We do, guys. Come on. <laughs> Be our friends. Uh, we're at an hour. We should uh, wrap it. We're at an hour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, my name is Blaine, and I'm here to say that I'm going to rap. I'm going to rap today with a ho, 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 and a hey, hey, hey. Look out, world. Get out of my way. It's Blaine rap. <laughs> Stick him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what Third is wave, this Scott. One air? When does this one air? Is it uh... a week from tomorrow? Uh, okay, so uh, February. I'll be at uh, Portland Helium, floating around. I, um, <laughs> we know it's tomorrow? a comedy club. Then I will be at uh, in in San Francisco this weekend at Sketch Fest with Brendan oh, nice. Small doing our oh, show. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I got a uh, Austin, Texas, and Vancouver coming up. Uh, it's the Vancouver. It's a it's a new comedy festival. I don't know the name of the club, but it's all on uh, BrianPassane dot com. Um, keep reading Deadpool. Big shit coming up. Crazy shit coming up. Uh, what else? Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> thank right. you for listening. Thanks for your patronage. Fuck off. Bye, Lyra. Bark, bark. Trace. <laughs> This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf Radio. Boom.com. Oh, oh, oh.